the most important thing off the bat is over here on the very left side of our screen we have our server list and I am actually only in one server right now under this account and that's the Arc Furnace server. It's, it's for Arc. Now if I wanted to join a new server or create a server I could click on the plus icon over here on the left and when I click on that you'll notice that I like I said I can create or join you can create a free server here on Discord, doesn't cost you anything, you can have a ton of members inside of it, so it's a great alternative to TeamSpeak or, or another application like that. So I could just hit create a server, and I could call it AnsonAlex.com, choose my region, US Central sounds good to me, I could give it a little icon if I wanted to, and then click create, and bada bang bada boom, we now have our own VOIP server, we could start inviting people to use it absolutely free, and you'll notice that over here on the left I now have a second server listed, so we've got Arc Furnace and then AntsonAlex.com, and I can just click to go back and forth between the two servers. Uh, so this is where your server management is going to happen, is over here on the left side. We can also see any direct messages that come in, will be up here at the top left, and we can click on this area to access all of our direct messages, they'd be listed over here on the left if I had any in this account, and we can add friends over here as well uh, so that we can easily message them at another time. So let's go back into our Arc Furnace channel here. Now, slightly to the right of, of the area I was just talking about, we have the list of rooms that are within a particular server. So Discord allows for both VOIP and also just text messaging and media messaging. You can send images here in Discord, which is really, really cool and it's really easy. I think this is one of the reasons why people are using this over some of the other options is it's just so user-friendly and it's a pretty powerful system. So you'll notice that we have the general text channel, which is where I am right now. So I could go down here to the bottom and I could just, you know, type a message. I, I'm not going to send this, uh, but I could send a message. I could click on this upward pointing arrow to add an image, and I could also drag images right in here to the uh, chat to upload it here to the Discord. Now I can also at mention people, so I can, like you would on Twitter or something like that, if I know somebody's username, I can just do uh, the at the at symbol and then I can choose the person that I want to at message and, and basically what that means is it's not a private message because I'm going to be sending this in the general text channel but it will give them a notification that I've mentioned them and notifications come in up here at the top right so if somebody were to mention me inside of one of these channels I'd be notified up here at the top right okay now down here below the text channels we have our voice channels and just to mention if you were administering your own server you could create as many text and voice channels as you want and you can specify permissions for all of those channels so you can say you know anybody's allowed to join my general text channel but my administrator my moderators channel is only for mods and here's the list of approved discord users uh, so you've got that flexibility to uh, completely control who's allowed to join which channel you can allow people to obviously join a voice channel and just listen and not be able to speak which is obviously important in certain situations uh, so you can definitely do that just like you can in a lot of the other apps so if I wanted to go into one of these voice channels all I need to do is click on it so if I just could click on general you'll notice that it says that I'm now connected so my voice is now connected in the general channel and I could go ahead and I could start conversing with people if there were other people in here. Now in a minute I'm going to show you where you can access your settings here in Discord so you can specify, uh, so you can configure your mic and your headphones and all that sort of thing. Uh, push to talk or just voice activation, that's up to you. Uh, but we can jump around here. I could go into another channel so you can see I can just switch between these channels just by clicking on them. Now, if I want to leave a leave all the voice channels completely, I can go down here to the bottom where it says voice connected and I can click on this disconnect button. So it will disconnect me from all voice channels and now I'll just be in the text channel. I won't hear anything from those voice channels as well. So that's how you can easily connect and disconnect from channels here in Discord. On the very right side of our screen, you'll see all of the uh, people who are online in this particular server. So obviously if I go over here to AntonAlex.com, we now only have one user online, that's me. And then back over here in Arc Furnace, we have you know our members up here at the top. And then we have just online users who are currently in this channel playing a game. And then down here we've got all the offline members as well. <clears throat> So now let's take a look at our Discord settings. To access Discord settings, we need to click on the gear icon down here at the bottom left next to our username. Now in our settings, there are a number of different options. I'm not going to go through all of them. Obviously, you can uh, change your username, your email address. You can update an avatar if you want. Uh, as we go down here, uh, connections, you can connect your Skype account, your Steam account, Twitch. Uh, you can manage who can add you as friends. Let's go down here to voice. Voice is where we're going to be able to 
uh, configure all of our input output settings so we could choose the input device that we want to use you could choose your built-in microphone but you're probably not going to want to do that so go ahead and find your headset here in the list your your headset microphone for output go ahead and find your headset uh, and then you can adjust the input volume output volume down here in input mode you can choose whether you want to use push to talk or voice activity a lot of people will tell you uh, that's probably best to use push to talk in a lot of situations because um, you might just be putting a lot of static into the channel even when you're not talking. Uh, but if you do choose voice activity, you can uncheck this automatically determine input sensitivity option and then you can adjust this. So maybe if people are complaining that they're getting a lot of static from you when you're not talking, you could turn this sensitivity down um, so that it requires a louder noise for your voice to be activated when you're speaking into your microphone. But again, if you want to be safe, just use push to talk, and then you can click over here to specify a shortcut for your push to talk to activate your push to talk. Uh, we can adjust all of our notifications. So I mentioned earlier our notifications come up here at the top right. We also have sound notifications, so you can obviously turn any of these off that you'd like. Uh, Keybinds, you can take a look at that on your own time, but again, that's like uh, specifying a shortcut for us to do push to talk or something like that. We could change some of the appearance options. We can make it, uh, you know, the, the light background mode instead of the dark background mode if we want. Um, most of these other things aren't super important. You can do uh, two-factor author authentication if you want. Um, that's up to you. I mean, Discord, if you're using this for business, then you might want it that secure or something like that. Uh, but if you're just gaming with it, it's probably not that big of a deal. Uh, so those are most of the basics for Discord. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is to interact with different users that are in the server that you're on, you can right-click on their username, and then you can go look at their profile. You can mention them, which will automatically put them in the chat down here at the bottom. You could send them a personal message, add notes, change their volume. This feature is awesome. Obviously, we need that feature because you get the people who are so loud or so quiet in the chat that uh, you can't hear them or you can only hear them, and you can adjust it on a per-user basis by right-clicking on the username. Obviously, you can mute them, you can add them as a friend, a whole bunch of different things just by right-clicking on their username. We could also single-click on their username to just get this kind of uh, information window about the particular user. And then also, uh, I didn't mention earlier, but to uh, mute ourself, we can do that down here at the bottom left by clicking on the microphone icon, or we can deafen our headphones uh, as well if we'd like down here at the bottom left. So. That's pretty much it for using Discord. Uh, again, if you'd like to see a detailed tutorial on how to set up and administer a server, your own VOIP server here in Discord, let me know in the comments section below and I'll try and get that video uploaded for you. But I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.